several couples were involved. So how can we do Tell us a little bit about the Amy Beale Foundation and how maybe, you know, St. Louis might be ripe for, for that type of an organization. What, what are you doing in South Africa? Well, first of all, there's the Amy Beale Foundation in the U.S., which we established a year after Amy's death because people donated money. And we really thought we would be able to maybe help, you know, just go to South Africa. People asked us to come and help. And so we might donate, you know, bits of money. But as we spent more time there and people said we really need to come and help, we sat down with the communities that um, had lots of ideas and lots of concern for their children because of the, the continual violence, which was once political violence, was now just violence because of lack of education, opportunity, skills, and whatnot. So the people in the communities knew exactly what they wanted in many many regards but they had no resources they didn't they didn't have access to banks and checking accounts and how do you access money and what what do you how do you budget simple things like that had been you know they had been denied access to the formal economy you know in many ways if you were wanting to have a class in cooking for kids how do you go and buy in bulk instead of little you know because that they were used to having a sponsor shop down the street so there are all kinds of things so as you know facilitator and helping to develop the skills that they can run their own uh, after-school programs and that sort of thing. That was sort of the idea. So sitting down at the very grassroots level, listening to what people needed, and they needed just what kids here need. They need safe places to go after school. They would like access to uh, musical uh, instruments to learn to play because they're so talented, to art classes, to sports opportunities. Easy wanted to be a soccer player, but his life, you know, became totally political in this movement. Now he would like to see kids in his community have access to uh, the sports and have that life. So, Easy, can you, can you tell us a little bit about what you do uh, with the foundation? We deal with uh, kids in age of um, uh, 10, 12, up to 14 years. 15 years. What we did actually, we have uh, different kinds of sport we teach them and also we have uh, help from the um, interns that coming to the, uh, to the foundation, helping different codes. We have swimming, we have uh, soccer, we have uh, um, uh, cricket, we have... Um, uh, cricket. Yeah. So what we do is just to train them and... Uh, um, is it competitive? The kids, oh, they compete against each other? Yeah, like we have... A, we have uh, tournaments, after we tournament the tournaments, when the school is vacation, then we have a tournaments where they are playing with different uh, 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 players. Do you see it making a difference with the 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds? Do you see less violence? Do you see that the children that are involved with the program, are they getting in less trouble? Do you track that? In that time they go to after school, I think is the, the, the Lord has been changed because the parents go to work and then they come arrive at home, they arrive at five, six. So what, we, well, what we're doing is just to make sure by three o'clock the school is finished, the day school is finished. So that time, three to four to five, we make sure we take care until their parents come home. So in that time, I think they are safety, environment, and also they're gaining some, 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 some skills and uh, learn a lot. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your work. <laughs> well, it's to oversee the smooth running of all programs, resources, giving enough support to supervisors like Easy. How many, how many people are working for the foundation now? 
Well, we have an office space, 12 staff members which are office space, and we have more than 15 teachers that we have that facilitate the program on the, class, on the, on the program, so they work for two hours every day. Now that is paid staff, mm. but we have amazing partnerships with some of the privileged schools in Cape Town. So one of our biggest um, needs actually is for uh, transportation because we are asked by some of these schools to bring in 30, 40, 50 kids to participate in music programs at a very privileged school. Uh, violin, they'll buy the kids violins and guitars. We have to find the kids and get them there. Um, um, we have a, the swimming diving program yes, now. We and also have ballet. Ballet. So they come yeah. into the city ballet. So it's institutions like the University of Cape Town. So we really need transportation for that. So we actually, I think, are known in many ways as a facilitator because these people have tried to work with other organizations and it's just difficult because of the where the kids live, getting them home and all that. So it's not just our programs but also our ability to reach out and use the resources of other organizations that have been helpful. Maybe just one more thing. I mean, if you were talking to the people of St. Louis about reconciliation and what it can do for us, um, and the problems we're having here that are all pretty much involving racial issues, what, what would you say? I think it's up to the people here in St. Louis what they need, what they want to achieve, what shape of the, 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 the environment they want to see their kids to, 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 to grow or to, to live on. So I think it's, they need to sit down and, 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 and make sure what they need have a vision. vision. Yeah, I think a lot of people get lost, you know, they see the problems, they don't know what to do, but really once you do have a vision and you really can focus on something and you start realizing other people are focusing and then you reach out and are willing to, to link arms and work together. <laughs>